you as a parent suspect someone is doing something inappropriate by touching a kid in the wrong area, how she approach that? Well, first of all, you have to figure out what signs you would see that would make you suspect. So the, the signs in children are is if they have an unusually uh, interest in body parts, if they start drawing pictures of sexual body parts, or if they start performing unusual uh, activities like, uh, like pulling down their pants in public or, or things like that, then you have to ask yourself what's going on with this kid. So the first thing you do is try to talk to the child and find out where, who told you how to do that? Who showed you that? You know, what do you, where did you get this, you know, why did you draw this picture? A lot of times the kids will give you hints that something's going on. You have to listen to those hints. You have to think about it and say, gee, does that mean, you know, does that mean something's really happening to this kid and he's trying to tell me? If, if anything, if the child's giving you hints, try to pursue it a little bit. I have once had a child say, a parent suspect it with reasonable information, what should they do next? They have to look into it. They have to find out. They have to find out if it's, a, if it's a neighbor. They have to find out was the child actually in the house and was the neighbor. There's no one answer. It depends on the situation. Fine. They, they're convinced something inappropriate happened. What do you do and next? And they have to make sure that child is not exposed to that, patient, that person and they should go to the police. And report it to the Bureau of Child Welfare? No. They have to report it to the precinct unless it's a parent. The Bureau of Child Welfare does not take the case unless it's a custodial patient, person, a, a parent or a So they actually make a police report that someone done something inappropriate kid. Yep, you have to go to the cops.